Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to be answering a question I had from one of my subscribers, um, and that was involving Google Chrome. And they want to know if there's a fix, because what's happening is every time they're coming down and clicking to open up Google Chrome, nothing's happening. So for myself, if I click Google Chrome, it's going to load up absolutely fine. Uh, but sometimes this can happen where you click on Google Chrome and literally nothing will happen. So we're just going to go through a fix for that today. Uh, if you find this video helpful, leave a like and drop a comment below. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, how to's and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So let's get going. So if you're on a Windows 10 system, what you need to do is come down here to the search bar and you need to go to apps and features. So if you type apps in the search bar and it's the top option here, which says apps and features, give that a click. And depending on how many programs and apps you have installed, it could take a minute or two to load through. Now you can either use the search box here and you can type Google Chrome in there, or you can just uh, use the scroll bar here to scroll up and down the list. So if you look for Google Chrome, give that a click. And then you want to click on to uninstall. So what we're basically going to do is uninstall Google Chrome and reinstall it onto your computer. And that should actually solve the issue. So what you need to do is click uninstall. Um, and it's just going to come up basically with a confirmation. And then you go ahead and click uninstall to fully uninstall Chrome. Now, if you're using an older system, if you're using, for example, Windows 8 or Windows 7, possibly, uh, there's a slightly different way because the apps feature actually came in on Windows 10. So it's actually a similar sort of process, but instead of searching for apps, what you need to do is type control panel. So again, this is if you've got an older system rather than Windows 10. And from control panel, you want to look for this one here, which says programs and then uninstall program. Go ahead and give that a click. And again, it might take a minute to load through, um, depending on how many different programs you have installed. And you can see just down here, there is Google Chrome, just there. And what you want to do is basically give that a click and then hit the uninstall button at the top here. And then you click yes, and that's going to run through and um, uninstall Google Chrome. Uh, once that's done and the Google Chrome has fully uninstalled, all you need to do is come across and open up another internet browser. Uh, doesn't really matter which one. By default, you would have Microsoft's uh, Internet Explorer, which is now known as Edge, installed. So all you need to do is go ahead and open that up. And once that's loaded through, all you need to do is the search box here. You just need to type install Google Chrome. And it should be the first result at the top of the search. You should give that a minute to load through. Okay, so there's a bit of um, information here. If we scroll down a bit, it's this first link here. Go ahead and give that a click. 
what you can do rather than searching for it, you can actually type the address in to the um, address bar, which is going to take you straight there, uh, which is just www.google.com forward slash chrome PSC. And then from there, you just want to click the download button here. Uh, depending on your system, this is for obviously Windows 10, 8.1, 8.7, 64-bit. Uh, so make sure you download the right version. And once that's downloaded, you should be able to go ahead and open Google Chrome as normal with no more issues. So I hope that solves your problems. And if you did find this helpful, drop a like on the video and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials.